Right, oh, the four wheel drive podcast. We are back. I've got Jaden on my left again, mate. This is the three P. Again, the three P. Yeah. yeah. Is this you now? Your three in a row. Role? Well, no. No. Why no. Not? Just Ronnie. Ronnie. You actually Ronnie. don't. You don't like being. I don't like being here. in front of the camera. <laughs> no, <you don't. laughs> Why not? Oh, it, it makes me uncomfortable. Does it? Yeah, I don't like putting my face out there. And like, <laughs> I feel like it, it just opens me up to criticism and judgment. <laughs> has it? No. Well, it hasn't. No. You haven't. No, but any. I'm just worried that it will. Oh, okay. I don't think I think you do quite uh, a good job no, in that. Honestly, seat, I don't I don't care too much. It's just it's nervous like getting on camera beforehand. Yeah, okay. Mm. But then you settle in and you become quite yeah, you become at a ease bit with more it. into it. Is Ronnie due to come back anytime soon? Yeah, he is. So he'll be back next week. Do we need him anymore? No. Do we want him back? I was gonna ask you that. <laughs> do you want him back? I don't know. The people probably want him back. They if they're gonna get rid of anyone, it would probably be one of us. Yeah. <laughs> Keep probably, Ronnie. Yeah. But yeah. mate, I think you're doing a good job in the hot seat. I'm trying, mate. Thank you. And and you do the run sheets. Yeah, kind of do it all, don't I? You've, we've brought Indy in today yeah, for the first here. time behind. What do you call that behind the the desk? The desk behind yeah, the desk. desk. So Indy's back there. Is Indy yeah. on the mic? Um, no, there's a mic <laughs> there, but she, no, she's not. On the, <laughs> she's not. She's not Dan, mate. <laughs> Indy's um Indy's four wheel drive experience. Do you know? Indy's got a Forester. Oh, that's that's a bit of a. Four wheel drive, four yeah, wheel drive. That'll work. Yeah, it's a beast. Those yeah. cars, <laughs> yeah. they just go anywhere. Your I think your Forest has over. done some Ks too. Yeah, it looks like it's done a few, <laughs> few Ks, which is um, good. Good car. Can I get turned up in my ear a little bit, please, Indy? And I better um, do the intro too. Southern River Band with Let It Ride bringing us in again. The Four Wheel Drive Podcast on Instagram. All our episodes over on Backchat's YouTube. Patrons, thank you very much. And merchant voice messages, you know where to find them, backchatstudios.com.au forward slash pages forward slash the forward drop podcast. How are you going now, Jaden? No, I think it's a headphone. Oh, it's a headphone. Yeah. I went up there, but that was that's fine. It's I still might be good. super loud. Uh, anyway, no, yeah, we've got a fair bit going on today. We do, mate. We do. You've come, you've come prepared with another great um, rundown. What do we yeah. call it? What do we well, call it? there's a fair bit Run going sheet. on. A fair bit going yeah. on in the full drive world. So a few weeks ago... Y63. Yep. That this is got, on the radar, by the way. That got released. Yep. Um, <laughs> Photos. I found another concept car for you. Of course you did. Um, I think you really like this I one. don't... I, but looking at the run sheet, I, I, I shouldn't have put it in because... I shouldn't have put it in because... I have to love this known. at the moment. Why? I have to love this. It might be a, a sponsor of a certain team that I'm a part oh, of. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Okay. So, Maybe you I have to one. love it. Yeah, you might be able to get one. Maybe. It is a concept. We've got... BYD Shark. Yep. Yeah, we've got a bit more information on that. Bit of that interest has been that. spotted in Australia. Has it really? Driving around the streets. What? So that's out there. As a camouflage sort of? No, as an actual oh, right. vehicle. We'll get to that later. Okay. But then we've also got the Prado. So, yes. Fair bit of news in the last couple of weeks. It's Plenty of that, news, actually. Weird that Ronnie's not here to be part of it, and it is, is a bit sad, but yeah. we're going to continue to bring bring the people what they want, the four well, drives. Yeah, he will be probably a big figure around the 250 Prado. St- you know, yeah, landscape. I think, I think so too. I He'll probably know a fair bit about the Y63 as well, but that's quite an interesting car. Yeah. Um, I think we touched on that, haven't we already? We have briefly. a little bit. Yeah. They've got a few more things now. Like there's, they've released a bit more information, but um, I don't know if we talked about this before, but it, it's going down to a V6 engine. Yeah. So I the think V8's going. That. Yeah. It sounds um, familiar. I know some people might be upset about that, but it the V6 looks really good. Yeah. It's going to... It's going to be it's similar to it's they're doing what the three hundred's done yeah they are to the two hundred and it's probably going to have a little bit more poke than yes what the big V eight does and you have to do that I mean the new vehicle efficiency standard sorry no that's all right mate they're everywhere <laughs> they are the new vehicle efficiency standard that is what's driving all this yeah. like clearance of the V eights and stuff which is sad in a way but you know yeah there was there were engines before the V eight and they'll these are the engines after the V8 and it's just the way we're going. Yeah, and I take my hat off to them because they're building engines. Like this is a three and a half litre twin turbocharged V6. Yeah. That is probably going to have everything. It's going to be a better, uh, not a better engine, but it, it's probably going to give you more off the floor. Like, it def- yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's got more power. It's got more yeah, torque yeah. already off the V8, which is quite exciting. Um, and the engine that they're putting in there has been, I think it's been modelled from... The GTR engine. Mm. Do you know much about the GTRs? They're a lot of money. They're a lot of money. Probably, yeah. They're a lot of money. They're a really nice, like they're, Skyline they're, yeah. sports car. Like they're they're very popular. It's not my style, but they're big. Yeah, they're, they're a big name car. They though. are a big name car. Yeah. But I don't know how the engines go in them. 
but I know they're powerful cars. They go fast. Yeah, they go fast. So if they're putting that in a, in a patrol, which is what they're doing, I yeah. think that'll be really interesting. Nine speed auto, which that'll Ronnie will wet his pants over that. Yeah, I don't. Because didn't he wet his pants over eight? So he like did nine. I know nine one is more. one more. So there might be a few more things going on in the pants than we want. <laughs> um, like what? Oh, we don't have to say <laughs> that, do we? <laughs> um, yeah, no. So that'll be cool. Nice. Like, the the 5.6 liter V8 from the Y62 was good engine, did yeah. well. V8's gone, but the uh, yeah this, the Y63 coming in. Obviously, the one thing that will disappoint is probably going to be the sound. Yeah, compared to the the old V8. Yeah, definitely. They sound yeah. they sound better than your 200s. Like, but yeah, I mean, put a bigger exhaust on, take away yeah. take away the and muffler. you can trick them like, now. Yeah, there's all those. You can do lots of things with it, with cars now. Yeah. So like the, the sound won't be a V8 sound. Yeah. But it'll still sound bloody cool if you yeah. get it right. I heard a 300 take off the other day pretty hard and it still sounded all right. <laughs> Mate. And it went like it it sat back. Mate, of some, of the, some of those V8s, some of those 300s with like some people have put some big exhausts on them and stuff mm. like that and they sound, what's the word? Maybe they sound gutsy. Yeah. Gutsy. They, yeah. Yeah. They Good just choice. sound like. From deep gutsy. within, they just sound yeah, gutsy, a bit ballsy, like grit the heavy te- grit cars, the teeth man. sort of stuff. Yeah, you reckon? Grit the teeth <laughs> type. I don't know, mate. That, that's, how many? I was, I was on next to now? one, and my, my my whole car was shaking because I was yeah. like, "How many?" I'm saying so many, so, so many, many more, so much more. I'm saying heaps on the road, a now. lot more. Now, that, like, because our friends of ours have got one now, mm. so now that I feel like I see theirs in the driveway, I think I'm just now I'm just seeing them everywhere. Yeah, that and you over. probably want them. Now, do you? Yeah, it's one of the cars on the list of twenty. <laughs> Why wouldn't you though? They're a bloody nice cars. You were you were you were quite tempted on the new Prado. They yeah. Are we going to touch on that now, or are we going to leave that? What do you think? Yeah, let's leave it. Let's leave it. Let to leave it because I reckon that we can. I reckon we can. Co- we've got some we photos to go with yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, we've got some photos of the the Y sixty three. Oh, you do. Up. I'd like yeah. to just um, run my eyes over um, them again. I'll bring that up here. Oh, it's Prado. Oh, that's the Prado. Get that off. I don't know why I've put patrol. I've ridden patrol there. Ah, anyway. uh, here we go. We don't have to. No, no, no. We got them. We've got them. Oh yeah. So this, this is this is the Y sixty three. Wow, that is terrible quality. It does look um just the way that everyone's going, isn't it? Yeah. That shape looks like it always I, looks like that. You Prado can't see you the top up. of it, but um, it's a. I think it's a full sunroof. Oh yeah. What do they call that? Panoramic. Sunroof, Panoramic. Maybe. I don't yeah. Know. yeah. I think it's that. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Don't, I mean, quote me on it if you want. I don't care. Yeah. Well, maybe on um, what But yeah, they, I th- they've got full white body. I like it. it, it does it look weird around where Wonder the flares how, are? Uh, like, it looks like it should have flares, me. but it doesn't it's have flares. It's a bit flares. hard to tell with your yeah, okay. quality. Sorry, mate. All right. <laughs> Photo. All but right. No, I, I, yeah. do, I like the look of it, the shape of it. That's how they're all going. The 300 looks a bit more like that. The 250 Prado looks a bit yeah. more like that. The four, like all of them are starting to look kind yeah, of similar. Yeah, a bit like that. Um, but I don't know. You got to, you just got to be in it to win it, I suppose, and keep up yeah. the game. Well, the 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 Prado looks like the the Lexus, like yeah. Seen G- a couple of them around too. Yeah, that that's a nice car. They're getting around. They look the same, though. Yeah, I mean, like, they're, they're owned by the same talk. company. They're all oh, under, t- sorry, they're all the, under the, the umbrella. Prado. Mm. Yeah, but I'm saying even the same. As oh, that. the like control. Like yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, they do. Just that, they look that right. square shape at the front. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you say that all the time and I laugh every time. Yeah, you, you do like, laugh every time. You like that? Oh, mate. What's that's the, funny. Um, I've told you about the guy, the NFL player, haven't I? Yeah. Off that series? Oh, yeah. That is funny. Yeah. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> that is a very good video. You should put that up. <laughs> should put that up sometime. All right, let's get on with your concept car. You want to see the concept car? I want car? to see the or concept do- car. All right. Because I doubt this will ever happen. <laughs> It is, it's. <laughs> oh no! So it's an it's an Audi. Audi have come up with a concept for an electric off road sedan. Right? Does that does that make any sense to you? Uh, you know what? It just. I know it's not. I don't think that's ever going to happen. I just can't see that being a thing. But it looks as futuristic as I've seen. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It really does. It kind of. Looks it's a mad weird one. It, it is a bit Mad Maxy, but like a modern but Mad Max. Very modern. Yeah, very modern. It's like a Spaceman Mad yeah. Max. Yeah, it's interesting. The boot, so the, the concept on the boot is that it's instead of you open the boot um, and it folds up like a, 
I don't know, a laptop. <laughs> yeah. Just because I'm looking at one. Yeah. It slides up onto the onto your roof, so that so the bonnet. Oh, okay. So this this is open at the moment. Yeah. Is so that that's open that's at the moment. Right that's on the on the top there. If you can see that, that yep. is. That's open. It just slides up onto the roof. Yeah. Okay. Your boot. I don't. That's not the worst design. It's not the worst. It's pretty cool. But it, I think it keeps the car closed as well. And is that is that honestly? F- this is a concept. So is this a four door? Say whatever. Yeah, Does that got four doors. Yeah, I just can't tell. Yeah, it does. It's a sedan, and not it's a, got like the cube, um, so. it's got the e-tron style mirrors there too. The yeah. the um, have you ever sat in an e-tron and seen how no. the mirrors? It is pretty. Is it's it cool? A, oh, I don't know if it's. How does it work? So that is just a camera, but on the on the inside of the door card is where you'll see oh, you know, like screen. a little TV screen. Yeah, is, is where you see the um, or what you're looking at. Right, it's pretty cool. Well. That's not, in my opinion. You don't like that. Oh, I see. You, you have like to that. like it. No, now I feel like you have to like it because of the because of this. What's deal. it called? Uh, no, it's it's literally just a concept car. Okay, they don't have. They I don't know if they've got a name, name for it, but it's it'd be like an. Is it even Audi that make the, these concepts, I or is it, it just any, yeah, mate, anyone? It's probably can do just this. ChatGPT. It's so so AI. Yeah, but yeah. do Audi find out about this and just think? Yeah, this hey, is cool. That's a well, good idea. This is a this is a design that's come out of Audi. So oh, okay. Audi have made it, but like whether they've made it themselves or not, it looks like an AI generated image. Right. They've put in what they want and they've kind of adjusted it afterwards. But yeah, okay. Yeah. It's a weird one. Gotcha. Have you have I can't think of the last time I saw a four wheel drive sedan like that. Other than that, um what did Ronnie have on his yeah, channel? Um, the uh, the Ford GT? Oh, uh, no, didn't you just put no. one in the in the suburbs? Yeah, that I did. We had yeah, or the, the, start, the, the Corolla. One. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember what Ronnie had. Yeah, I did have the Corolla. That was funny. That was yeah. It was a um, car. Anyway, here's here's a real car. All right, real not one. a concept. This is nice. We've had concepts Shark. last. Month. Yeah, we have. I know it's because I like bringing in the concepts. Yeah, I think they're really funny. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I don't mind. It. So this is the this is the shark, the BYD shark, and this is real spotted in Australia on the road. Yeah, this is this this was spotted uh, doing testing right. in Australia. Um, not in disguise. That's pretty, yeah. So I'll bring up some photos, but it's quite an exciting car. People, people are really excited about it. it. It's getting a lot of attention. Why? I think because of the 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 new concept. It'll be a plug-in hybrid, right? Yep. So you'll be able to run um, your kind of whole campsite off the car. Right. Um, it's one of those cars. You know how Ronnie's talking about where when the hybrids come in, you'll be able to power your house off of them. Yeah, yeah. This is kind of that. This right. is kind of that concept. But it's, yeah, it's got it's got some electric motors on on the front and rear. Yep. Um, which will help power power the car. But the the electric engine, it basically just has all this power coming out of that, and then as soon as you run out of battery, it'll switch to your to your fuel yep your petrol car and it'll run at the the computer will basically control it and it'll right. run at the economic speed but okay. while it's doing that it'll recharge the battery right so while you're driving on petrol it'll recharge the battery and when your battery's good to go <laughs> you just switch to that so so what you're saying is you effectively you get three three fate like you you'll so you'll drain your electric stores or whatever yep. is that whatever it is yep and then you use your petrol up as that as you're using your petrol that battery charges back up yep use the battery again until it's out yeah so, and so you've got what's the range on these things yeah that's it's, it's a good question i don't know and i don't that's that's that's, that's, that's what i understand of it it right. could be it could be off but um no instead well, you of driving that really well because I, ha- I can yeah handle that well instead of dri- so the engine instead of driving the wheels like a normal engine yep. wheel, it, it, it's going to run at the most efficient Yep. Constant, right? Like yep. the so you might be a little bit underpowered on yeah. using the petrol. I mean, I don't, I, I doubt you'd be. Probably, you wouldn't probably. Feel but it, it is, it is, it's an underpowered engine. Yeah, like, it's not a big engine. Yeah, what is it? A one point uh, five, five liter. liter. Yeah, which yep. is small. Yeah, but yeah, it it's not going to be running off that. So anyway, this is this is the mm. car. This is spotted. Oh right, so this is a real image. Mm. Look at you go. I know. Coming in with the real stuff. Yeah, well, you know, it's a, it gets <laughs> sent into us, mate. So, <laughs> <laughs> may as well. It'd be rude not to. No, that's... That, it looks It well, looks good. That, it looks your, exactly And there's like, your 300 up in the in the distance there, I would have thought. So, the BYD shark just taking <laughs> yeah, front and center. Taking front and center. It looks good. It does. I it just looks like your... It looks like, yeah. Your everyday you. The, the front is a bit squarer. Hey. 
You they, like they, that? They, no, they all are. Oh, they all I are. I like yeah. that, yeah. Mm. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Stop saying it, please. <laughs> Going to that on You don't even mean it, do you? No, I don't. Sometimes I do. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just it's like funny, put it man. in there. But yeah, That's no. good by you, Morton. <laughs> 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 anyway, I, I like this, and this sounds. That- it sounds good. So this this is from um, we had we had this commented on on uh, on YouTube, but I'll, I'll read it out. So when the battery level drops to a certain point, the engine will kick in. Um, it won't drive the wheels directly, um, but it'll maintain the most efficient like high speed. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. The main job of the engine is to generate electricity when it's running on petrol right so the electricity is going to charge the battery and it's going to power the motors which are going to be driving the wheels yep. so while you're using fuel instead of the fuel driving the wheels yep the engine the the battery the motors sorry that are on the front and rear are going to be driving the real right the wheels um it has 320 kilowatts combined of power yep um and you're obviously not going to be using that all the time um, and it's gonna de- it's gonna vary depending on where you're driving, right? Yep. Like if you're on a four wheel drive terrain, you're gonna have more power. Yep. If you're driving around the city, you're gonna have less power. You're gonna be using less yep. less electricity, less energy. Um, so I think that's pretty interesting. Yeah, I don't I don't know if there's another car out there that's doing this doing this stuff. But no, well that's what Ronnie BYD so are very about. trustworthy. Yeah, uh, allegedly they yeah. they've been in the game for a while and they've been designing electric motors for a long time. So, their 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 motors and stuff aren't, aren't gonna, they don't seem like they're going to blow up on you. I wonder if it's you're driving around, you're gonna you'll be able to trust it. If it, is it their first hybrid engine? No. Okay. No, that's good to know. It wouldn't be their first hybrid engine. Right. So I'm interested then to see one fuel range. If anyone can help us out. Uh, sorry. Well, just range because it's not all yeah. fuel. And then two, I'd love to know what happens towing or how well it tows. Yeah, towing would be because interesting. It'll use a fair bit more, and like if you're, it will use more obviously. But under electricity, battery power, how well is it going to tow versus how well it is on petrol power? You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, I want to know like how quickly is that? Are you going to run out of fuel before the electric and engine the, yeah, charges maybe, up maybe enough to be able to carry you on? 100%, yeah. Or is it just going to be a a standby kind of thing where oh mate I've got 10 k's on my range and I've got to go 30 k's uh, I've got the petrol yeah to, to get me there it's not gonna is it, it gonna charge it up I don't know but the cool thing about it is you can and this is the cool thing about all electric cars is that you can park it at your house or wherever you are and just just fill up yeah and then you're ready to go yeah so if you're just doing a daily drive and you've got a charger at your house you can just park at home Wake up in the morning, go to sleep, wake up in the morning and then you're, you're basically good to go again. You're not yeah. really stopping at a fuel station once a week. You're just going home and doing it all in one go. Yeah. Plug it in every night if you yeah. want to just top up. Which is cool. I like this on the radar and I've got more questions actually, which not to be answered today, but, but find throw them out. out. See, if, see out if we time. can get some some listeners to, to throw some yeah. stuff in. Like I, I, that question there is a great one. Like mm. on petrol using fuel, how... You know, how long is that taking to charge up those yeah. electric motors? What's the range on them? Like that, this is, and, and towing is the one. Like, are these actually a viable option for people towing? Yeah, but I mean, if at the same time, are you going to tow? Is that the car you're going to buy yeah, if you're towing? Like, well. You, is it? It's nice to have the option to tow, but if you're going to buy a towing car, wouldn't you go for a Y63, a Y62, yeah, yeah. 300, I'd, a 200? I think at the moment you're not even considering it. But no, but it'd be good to have the option. Until, it, you know, it, it might tell us otherwise. It might, mm. it might just knock down the door and say, look, you, this is an option. True. Come buy me. <laughs> Come get a shark. Would you, would you buy one? Is that something that you'd have on your list of 20? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Electric, electric hybrid but car? But 10 years down the track... Mm. Who knows where everything's at, and that you know, if this is if that BYD shark is ten years down the track, also tried and tested over ten years, still going, still a competitor yeah. in the market, then hundred percent. But at the it's moment, interesting. No. What would you? You're in a seventy six, complete opposite. Yeah, it is a complete opposite. Mm. 
Mm. We're, we're still here. I don't. I don't yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I just, come on, man. I <laughs> <laughs> Just look, cough or right. something. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to say nah, no. I yeah. probably wouldn't. Probably wouldn't. Not not at this stage. Yeah. Not at, not at, not at where I am in what I want to do, like with with forward driving that kind of stuff at yeah. the moment. But it's definitely something I would keep my eye on. Well, what about for these blokes who have the electric cars now? Dan, we've spoken about the BYD seal. Yeah. Like if Dan say nah. Yeah, okay, go Scully then. Who's had a Ute before, had four-wheel drive Has in he? the past, what but hasn't you? used them for four-wheel right. driving. Yeah. That but he's sense. had them. Like, and, you know, got the family, bigger car. I could fit see, something I in could the back, see throw him a dog being in the back. tempted into, into getting it is, yeah. it, the, is it the new city Ute? Yeah. <coughs> well, I think I think when his kids <laughs> when his kids are a bit older. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, just waiting on them to drop, mate. <laughs> Same. Yeah. I think maybe when his kids are a bit older and they're... Yeah. I reckon it could be that. That could be the that, kind of that could be the market. The city. Mm. Would you buy one, Indy? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yes. What? No from Indy. Yes from Indy. It was a yes, and now it's a no. Yeah, I think I'd go to trusted cars. Like trusted city, cars. Like, right. Yeah. I think the trusted cars are really good, but I think the BYDs are getting more and more trusted every single time someone buys one and tests them, especially in Australia. They're they're not doing what the Kia Tasman's doing. And testing it in fucking California, yeah, for an Australian market. They They're are testing, testing it, it in Australia for an Australian market. Yeah, down in Melbourne or Sydney Laneway or something. Like yeah, exactly. That. So well, we mate. mind seeing how it goes, but yeah, but I, I actually I mean, think it could be a city Ute. <laughs> no one's spotting it when it's out in, out in the desert. But it doesn't look that good just to have as you you know as you like daily. it doesn't look as good as a BYD seal just yet or a Tesla. I don't know if they look good. You don't like, like the seal. I can't. I, can't, I don't oh, think he they doesn't look like that the seal. Good. I like the seal over the Tesla, but I don't. But do you think that looks good? I don't know. I don't think it looks amazing. Like for a hybrid, like just maybe for a hybrid, maybe yeah. it goes another. Oh, actually, that's shut up, Liam. Nah, go on. I was just thinking, does do they go a little bit more like own that they're a hybrid four wheel drive, electric hybrid? Do they just own that a little bit more in how they design? The look because at the moment it could just be a you know gwm or something like that yeah or a ranger or whatever yeah like go like own the look just properly dive into it yeah With, mm. without being like cyber truck spec but yeah you don't want to go cyber truck but like that is there a, you know because that looks pretty it looked pretty basic and boring as well mm. not saying that it is no that's it just did. my taste i th- would you do you remember what the kia tasman looked like yeah, to a would degree. You, do you, would you prefer that. the Tasman over that? Or do you think well, they look pretty much the same? Pretty much the same. Like, yeah. To me, the... Yeah. To me, at the moment, the best looking Ute is the Ranger. So, yeah. This is real quick, but I want to touch on this because this was sent in um, as a message. Last week when we were chatting with Harry from yep. Fire to Fork. Yeah, which I want to touch on. Great chat. Yeah. We... <laughs> We joked about cooking food on on a car on the exhaust manifold. Yes. Guess who released a video this week doing exactly that? Oh, um, yeah, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. Seriously, serious. Yeah, cooked a pie on it. Did he? <laughs> yeah. On the exhaust manifold. On the exhaust. Yeah. And did we say that could be done? I think we joked about doing it, like okay. on a hot car, like as a thing. But he's done it. <laughs> and it actually cooked it. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, his Land Rover's probably run hot. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming they would. But he, all exhaust would. he is impressive with oh, his knowledge. Mate, and he is. Yeah, just... How do you get all that kind of stuff in your head? I don't know. Good on him, though, because it's actually fun to listen to. Well, yeah, one of the or best, tra- one of the best chats we've done, yeah. along with Harry and Sarah yeah. Keelan, comes, comes to mind straight yeah. away. But Jeff would just like... Overland Travellers. Diff- so... Just so much knowledge. Yeah. So much knowledge. Mitch Jess, Wandering Oz. That was a great one. Yeah. Adelaide show coming up as well. I don't get to see anyone this year. No. No. That's all right. Um, I don't even get to see Ronnie. Speaking of Harry. Yeah. Gave you a car sales challenge. Did you did Oh, you yeah, do it? he did actually. Yeah, yeah, I did. Actually, I better pull that or up. Or did you want I'm something here. else? Sorry, mate. Were you going? No, no, no. I actually wanted... Maybe we'll just t- touch on the chat with Harry because... Yeah. I He never seems... Never, we met him last year through the shows and stuff like that. He never seems to disappoint. No. Just like... In terms of food or... Well, that for one, but more so just like what a ripping bloke and yeah. down to earth and no. just like everything. Like he's just one of those blokes that you're happy to hang out with. 
and yeah. more than you know generous with his time for us yeah. and made it all work and yeah we had a good yarn when we went out to dinner in adelaide after one of the shows yeah yeah, yeah. um good chat just a just a good fella good all around so and not it doesn't it doesn't fake anything either nah he's and, pretty pretty open with it all yeah. which i think like pre- people would appreciate in the chat with yeah. us like that not that we went into we didn't deep dive on the ins and outs of what he does and the pros and no. cons or any any of that stuff. It was more of just a bit of a chat and see where it took us. But great chat. If yeah. you haven't listened to it, go listen to it. Yeah, because he, he's bloody. Go okay. listen to seriously series as well. Because yeah, some crazy things going on in there. Yeah, you know what I do find cool is how um, the WA creators all get around each other so hard. Mm. That's cool. That is cool. You know we're part of that now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they actually know. We've done they, three episodes they, of that, Ronnie, mate. We're, we're they actually, officially part of it. Yeah, maybe. Well, they know what they're doing, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Like I said, though, you are the expert in this in this combination. Nah, I'm telling you, mate. You're I further think we're the same, mate. Nah, nah. You you've got. I've it. just done research on the topics we're talking about. That's, <laughs> that's all. Hey, that's all it is. If you ask me on the street, I'd be like, "Oh yeah, mate. That sounds good." Nah, <laughs> you, you you know you know a bit more than me. Anyway. Great chat with Harry. Go and check that out because that was good fun and appreciate his time and just, yeah. who, he, just who he is. Yeah. Just appreciate who he is. Thanks, mate. Thanks for being you. Yeah. Are you saying that to... Yeah, to you as well. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> um, all right, let's get on with the car sales quiz. So Harry gave us a car sales quiz. A, um, car sales question. Question. Now, he said, go and find... Make a bad COVID choice with the government money that people were able to get out of their super. 20 grand. You're able to pull 20 grand out of your super through yeah. that time. And he said, go and make a bad COVID choice and spend 20 grand on the worst four-wheel drive decision that is built for a weekend of basically fun and thrashing and blowing up yep. a car on the sand dunes in Lancelin. Yeah, for it was meant to last one weekend. And that's one it. weekend. 20, 20 grand, blow it all on a weekend on a car. And it had to be something fun. So it wasn't, yeah. It's kind of cool. You, like weren't, you weren't going to go like a, you obviously can't go a 70 series. They're too expensive. Yep. You obviously want a V8 because you want to have some fun with plenty of power and make a bit of sound and rooster tails and all that sort of yep. thing. So you've got a few for us, I assume. Well, I've Dodge only got Ram. the one. Just the one? I've got the one. Well, Dodge Rams, obviously. Yeah, it's obviously a bit I'm about a hundred. I'm about 100 short for the <laughs> base model. But yep. what I did find is... About four, but I've picked one, supercharged Range Rovers. So it's a Land Rover, Range Rover Sport, supercharged. It's a 2011 model. Now, basically, it's 16 grand. So if you've got, if you've got a mate in, like the, in, I suppose, the game, you could go and cut some, you know, yeah. get rid of the um, guards get of the there, trims. get some bigger tires on it and... Any, it had to be under three and a half grand because this is 16 and a half, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yep. But I think that was the best. That was a supercharged V8 that you could just go and thrash across. There's no, like, you're not lifted very high at all. There's no, it's not a great four wheel drive. 230,000 kilometers. 230,000 K. So it's actually like, it's not hor- horrendous. It'll probably last you a bit more than yeah, a Yeah, it's probably going to get you through past the weekend, yeah. depending on how you drive it. But to me, if you that, thrash that, you would. Yeah, oh, you'd, you'd be you'd you'd be able to hear it from Perth, <laughs> but I I reckon I only I went these because it was a V eight supercharged engine, mm. and that's what was my criteria. I needed something it's supercharged, fun. and there was about four of these available in Australia for under the price. Didn't matter about kilometers. It didn't matter about um, condition. Mm. Like Harry just said, make a really bad choice. Yeah, and that. Is my bad COVID choice. I'm not saying this is a bad car to choose for yeah, but it's your, your, your day-to-day yeah. car, but that's my bad weekender. Do you like it? I do like you it. You like that? I do. I do like it. Yeah. yeah. You like that? <laughs> I think it's we need to get cool. that sound effect. <laughs> yeah, mate. I'm telling, I forget um, his name. One of the quarterbacks off that series. Yeah, I don't know what's... The nice guy, but anyway. <laughs> um, I you think like that's it? a pretty good choice. Like, There's... Not oh, many, there's yeah. not many photos that are going to tell you exactly what it's this car's no, got to offer, but... It's not what I expected. What did you expect me to I guess I go? kind of thought like an old GQ or a Land Rover. It's that hard to find. Yeah, like, under. And and to have some fun, like driving... Really old, old Hilux? 
yeah, but drive the house, like you can't even go fast. They got yeah. like they're no, that's true. They're slow, and like maybe if you want to go rock crawling, yeah, in an old like Hilux, but yeah, but I, th- I this has surprised me. This is really good. I, I was like thinking, it. so this is more based on probably sorry to everyone else, but this is a WA thing, probably hitting the sand. Yeah, more so. like that's what I picked this car yeah. for. Yeah, because this would have been like if I was to make a bad COVID super twenty grand choice, this that was would, it. That would be it because I'd take it straight to Lano and yeah. I can see you in that. And flatten the sand dunes out there. That's what would have happened. <laughs> yeah. We'd be able to hear you from but not, Esperance. Not saying no to this not saying no to this car day to day. It'd be a bit of fun to drive around, I would have thought. And it will last you more than a weekend. So sorry yeah. whoever's selling this car, because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's only up good here, for a and weekend. And I'm saying it's only good for a weekend, but it mm. is not. That's fuel, good. Fuel consumption, fourteen point nine litres per hundred. Yeah, no, that see that's as good. a standard. It's good. I mean, it's not good. Good it's compared good to what for like you drive no, around, but <laughs> not really. <laughs> no, it's good for your weekend trip, mate. It's I, good. V8 you don't care about fuel. Petrol supercharged, five liter. I reckon you're having some fun in that. I reckon, you're Harry. Let me know fun. if you're happy enough with that. I actually think Harry wouldn't mind that. I actually think he might be in the market for buying one, and that's why he's asked you to get it. I can guarantee you, Harry will not be buying this. But I you think are. he likes the idea. Oh. I actually think this car is not here. It's in New South. Anyway, hopefully there's some dunes over there and someone can go and enjoy themselves. Yeah, I don't know much about New South Wales. Get yourself over there, mate. I did a little trip through there last year. Yeah. Very not like four-wheel drivey sort of that sort of spec, mm. but Touring. pristine. South Touring Coast. Country. Yeah. Just up the up the beach. Mm. Pretty, pretty bloody nice. Pretty bloody nice. It is very good. See a lap around Australia would be elite. I know there's yeah. quite a few of our listeners doing laps around Australia. Oh, really? So good luck if you're out there doing laps around Australia. Yeah. That is a lot of fun. That did that when be. I was a kid, actually. Did you? Yeah, it did. It's actually, did it. It's it took, took me out of school and just went around Australia. That's a dream of mine. Once footy's over, to do a lap. Yeah, well, you'll have time on your hands. Yeah, well, we'll need as to As soon it. as you're not playing footy or captain of the West Coast Eagles, you are out of here, mate. Wouldn't mind doing a lap. I reckon it'd be good. Yeah, I reckon it'd be late. Might get the notes off your folks. Sorry, mate. I feel bad. You're in. You're still in. You're in forever. What do you mean? No, it's all right. In what forever? Think, you're in here, mate. The podcast. Oh. <laughs> I can do it from the road. I'm not playing footy forever, that's for sure. That you could. Ca- never ca- say never, mate. It comes to an end for us all. LeBron James is playing basketball forever, apparently. So. Yeah, he actually yeah. He is. He could. I don't know if you can play footy for two years, 40. Oh, Dustin Fletcher did it, I'm pretty sure. There you go. There you go. There's, all right. there's outliers. Toyota Prado 250, spotted. Spotted. On trucks. So, so yeah, Rafa here. sent this in. Rafa. As did others. As did others. We got an email. So, everyone's so Scott D sent it into the Four Drive Podcast at backchatstudios.com.au. Yep. Nice. I hope that's our email. It is. Um, you, yeah. It would be. Indy's nodding. Yeah. Yeah. Indy knows. All right. Indy knows. This is spotted. Indy, do you like that better? Jeez, why are they so the, low quality? The, so, this was spotted. This is all modern looking. Yeah, yeah, they are modern looking. Very modern looking. Yeah. I do like it though. You like it. I, I do like this. You like that? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do like that. But I do. I agree with Indy. The new. I probably because we've been looking at them for a year now. The new yeah. like shapes. Yeah. I'm more used to them now. But I definitely took me a while to get used to these new boxier shapes. But yeah, I do. It, I do. It, like it took this. a while. But like after seeing the seventy series, the new seventy series, yeah, like, it's just kind of it all just it kind of. Like even the Ford, new Ford Everest and Rangers at the start, I was like, oh, not sure about that. New Hilux is like, nah, but they all come yeah. come around. Anyway, I do like this. I want the one on the back. See, for I me, like, it's the middle. I like Because silver. of the color? Yep. That's the, So that's the altitude on the back. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Yep. That's the one I'll have then. Yeah. That's a, I can't remember what that's we- top did, of the line one, I think. Top of the line, is yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, no, they, they look really good. Yeah. Um, so apparently this is in Brisbane and the rumor is from Scott. The rumor is that it's going to Gold Coast for press, for like a press release or right. press photos and that kind of oh, stuff. Okay. So yeah, it'll be on its way soon. So they're, they're off the um, ships. They are off the ships. They're, they're coming in. Those must be the three colors that they're selling them in. Maybe. Um, Makes sense if they're going to, if, the, if these three are the three on the way to the launch, yeah. it would make a lot of sense. But yeah. Like the 300 series, we're starting to see more and more on the road now. I reckon it won't take as long for these to really infiltrate. No, no. Just with that point I of difference in price and uh, I suppose the Prado being the name that it is. And if you look 
anywhere on any street in Australia, you can guarantee you'll find a Prado. Just about. Yeah. I was in between four the other day. Really? Yeah. Four white Prados. Four different models or? Uh, all like the... The normal. The ones. <laughs> Fuck the- <laughs> Those lozenges didn't help at all. <laughs> no. Good cover. Yeah, good cover. Um, no, nah, just the, the, like the... What are they? The 150s. Yeah. Yeah, all 150s, but... Yep. Um, they're so popular here. Yeah, they are. Like this is that, the city four-wheel drive, basically. Yeah. But that I, I, I like where this might go off-road as well. Yeah, definitely. As a Prado, they're they're, they're they're a cheaper, cheaper ish yeah. version of you know the, the you know back in the day the hundred series and the two hundred series. Yeah, and, they're still these things are still going to be bloody expensive. But mate, when you're not saying, cheap, when you're saying it, it's a update from. The 150 Prado, as the 300 was from the 200, mm. but this is a cheaper update if you can see, yeah. you know, like jumping well, from a Prado it's to 10 grand then a 300, more, isn't it? Than the 10 grand more than Prados. So, like if you compare the 150 to the like a 2022 yeah. Prado to now, yeah. yeah, it's yeah, there's a bit of a price difference. They, they've jumped up in without in the price. Ta- without the NVES, yeah, coming in, yeah, the NVES, which is interesting. But, um, so in America, they've obviously had these cars for a little while, yep. They've done some they've done some mods and stuff. So Rafa sent this one in as well. That Rafa. man is just across everything. Just Unbelievable. The, the fourth member of the team. Isn't he, he is, isn't he? Um, thanks, Rafa. So he sent this in. Just looks like an Ineos attachment. You know the bars that uh, Ronnie has yeah. on the Ineos. So um, for listeners, off. this is a this is on the back rear window on the um, on the new Prado, and it looks like it's hanging off the uh, roof rack. Yeah, it's and it goes down the... to the bottom of the window and it's um, bolted in. It's looked like an extra, what would you say, maybe five centimeters or three three to five centimeters off the off the car. Yeah, it looks that way. And it's yep. got a few few holes and stuff um, Just to cut into the metal yeah. so you can hang tools, shovels. I assume you'd probably put your max tracks up there. Yeah, maybe. Um, whatever kind Jerry of stuff you want to put on. Yeah, Jerry can, I don't maybe. Know. Can you see what brand they, they are? There's that writing up no. the top, but I can't make out what it is. Yeah. But I that's my color. That's my color. It is your color, with the attachments. So what? It, bottom left it says I Force Max. Yeah, I was going to ask. I don't know it. what that I've is. I've got no idea either. No. So I was going to steer clear. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I can't should, should that, have one. that one up. <laughs> what am I thinking? Um, yeah, no. I th- the, so the mods, the mod market is coming out. They're they're looking like some cool stuff. Yeah. Oh, they're going to have to be like the the way it, you know, like we've said always. They're just competing 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 and yeah. the point of difference becomes how it looks sometimes like the um obviously there's the quality of the product but how it looks is a big factor in what people put on the sides of their car yeah and on a car like that to be honest it deserves a pretty you know you don't want to be going putting massive big bulky things on the side of this like no. I reckon something like that sleek designs on the attachments I, you know what even putting like big chunky bull bars on the front of the Prado. Like maybe those, um, I don't, they're not called nudge bars. I want to ask you, do you like that? Do you like the big chunky bull bars or do you prefer the little nudge bar? <laughs> I had it, man. What, what, what other phrasing am I going to use uh, for that? <laughs> do you prefer? Oh, do you prefer that? <laughs> Sorry. No, no that's a good one. That's I just, good. I think do now, you prefer that? I think now when you're asking me, you ta- you're taking the piss. A little so, bit. But you're not it? No, yeah. you are. No, but I'm not. But do you prefer that? <laughs> I think on the Prado, I would prefer like a nudgy looking, keeping the, keeping the grill. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> oh. oh, that's good. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is about what I hate like. coming here. <laughs> and everyone can see that. I know, and everyone can see that you, <laughs> yeah. you made that noise. <laughs> you could have yeah. them behind the desk and it wouldn't matter. Um, yeah. Wait. That's pretty funny. It's Wait. all good. One day. One day. I'm still waiting for a growth spurt as well. Uh, um, <laughs> that's good fun. Um, anyway, I'm a fan of the Prado. I don't know if I would be get, yeah. Would you look at getting one? Uh, it'd be in the list of 20. Yeah. Put it that way. Yeah, that makes sense. They'd probably be top 10. <laughs> Everything's in the 20. Yeah, they, they'd be they'd be higher than, than if you, so most. Be here's higher a question. Than, yeah. if, you, if you had the old, the 150 Prado. Yeah. And you've had that for maybe six years and you're looking to... Either get a new car, yep, or I don't know whether you, whether you keep the one hundred and fifty and just you're going to either get a new car, you're going to go for the the new two hundred and fifty, mm. or you're going to keep the one hundred and fifty and just go ham on mods and that kind of stuff. 
What, what would you what would you be leaning towards? Would you upgrade to the two fifty straight away, or would you wait a little bit? I reckon I'd wait just a little bit and not try and spend money on the one fifty, and then move into the two fifty. Mm. I reckon. Yeah. Only because like it's, I know that with my car being, I've had that since twenty seventeen, and I didn't just go and grab the new Ranger straight away. Yeah. But there also came a time where I was like, I have to stop spending money on mods yeah and start looking at new cars yeah because potentially i'm not going to get to enjoy those mods for you know long enough to, to yeah. warrant me paying for them so yeah, that's where I'm, i kind of if you've had it for six or seven years and it's done its job i reckon try and keep it as pretty you know close to what it is as, as you can mm. and then update to the because the prados are such a good car they've got such a great name but i always like to let a little bit of time pass before yeah, before you go, you go and, and buy a brand new thing. Yeah, that's just the the advice that I've been given, mm. like by someone that I trust, and then that's just what I've lived by. But I bought one car in my life, mind you, or two, so I haven't <laughs> had any runs at it. But that's why I haven't gone and bought the new Ranger straight away. Or yeah, and were you looking I, at the new Ranger? Uh yeah, yep, yeah, to a degree, yep, for sure. Mm. Well, that's all I've got on the Prado. Yeah, let's go around the fire. I don't really have five. too much more. Around, around, the, around the fire pit? Yeah, absolutely. Around the fire pit. Have we got some voices? We do have some voices. Yeah. Yeah, we got two. Got well, some VMs. Yeah. We, got, <laughs> we got a couple. Uh. Uh, G'day, boys. Love the show. Absolutely love the show. Too nice. So, yeah. question for Dago. Oh, now, I've done about 10,000 K on, on, on my current car. I'm looking at something different. And I don't want a Ranger because I'm not a big fan of Rangers. Fair enough. I think they're pretty shit, to be honest. Okay. But I'm thinking maybe maybe a Triton because Triton's better than Rangers. <laughs> that, you what? tell him you didn't want a fucking Ranger? I told that, mate. I'm, on, that? I'm trying to record a recording here. So I'd love, love to add to the fleet, Duggo. So could you look for a Triton that's got like 130 grand's worth of gear on it? <laughs> And that'd be great. <laughs> Someone's pulling me legs. Right. No fucking ranger. Yep. Yeah, yeah. No, that no Jonah? ranger, just, just to be clear. I, I think sounds you've got like that, mate. All right. Um, you know. I don't yeah, know. Who's pulling my Ronnie's legs? there. Oh, <laughs> Ronnie, you're a fucking legend, mate. That's Ronnie's there. Dago, sure. you're a bloody absolute yeah. legend too. But uh, rangers are shit. See you later, boys. And someone we know. I'm not go, answering that go question. Go play the second one. This is a two-parter. Yeah, mate, it's Kev again. I want to apologise to my mate Kev. in the background. He's a bit of a yeah. It can't keep it together, mate. Nah, Dugo, cheers, mate. Cheers <laughs> for holding the bloody uh, podcast, mate. I'll see you soon. <laughs> you had me at the start, um, Ronnie Dale, about to jump into the fleet. Bye. <laughs> oh, mate, <laughs> not bad by Ronnie. He actually had me going. <laughs> he did, eh? And when he said that he wants a Triton over a Ranger. That's when I was like skeptical on. Oh, you're like no normal person would do that. Well, I'm not saying that, but <laughs> sounds like you're saying that. With the, can you play the um, start of part one just at the start there, please, Andy? Uh, g'day, boys. Love the show. Absolutely love <laughs> yeah, the show. I was commentating this going on. That's so, too yeah, nice. Question for Dago. He's got me. Now, I've done about ten thousand k oh, on, thank on, you. on my current. <laughs> well done, Ronnie. It's not a bad voice. Didn't actually pick that for a fair while. Oh. And it wouldn't have been the first person I picked, except I know he's probably yeah. quite yeah, he, he would be, be bored sitting that, around yeah. camp and Yeah. I know. Is that well, all no, the voice messages that we drive. have? It sounded like it was who was driving. <laughs> Ronnie's our only voice yeah, message. That's it. It's all the voice messages. <laughs> Did you text him begging for a voice message? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's what I'm saying. He and called me this a... morning. Think okay, so I was telling you this off air. But he called me this morning thinking that we're recording at 6 a.m. For oh, listeners, yeah. it's not 6 a.m. like usual. Yeah. So he called me at 7. He's like, hey, um, if you need, I'll I'll call 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 me and I'll um I'll have a chat and we'll go do it on the pod. And I was like, Yeah, cool, no worries, man. He's like, Can I call now? I was like, Sure, if you if you want, mate. And <laughs> so he calls me and he's got his podcast radio voice. And he's like, Hey mate, yeah. Oh, you <laughs> it's like, hey, hey Ronnie, how, how you going, mate? It's <laughs> just like just fully, he was, he was expecting like, like, yeah, he was expecting to be on oh, with us, like, right now. Ladies and gents, yeah. got Ronnie Dale. Yeah, Ronnie Dale's on. Just like, yeah. hey, Ronnie. 
Hey Ronnie, uh, how are you? Yeah, and he's like, I'll think of something, and I'll um, I'll I'll, no, I'll, send, not- I'll I'll send you a text, and I'll like send you some stuff in. So that was um, no tap mad off so that voice has not a bad disguise. Mm. I didn't, I definitely, if I didn't know Ronnie, I wouldn't have picked up that that was Ronnie at all. Yeah, really. But he got me with the yeah, chart. He did well. I think that was Chris in the background, Chris Woods. Ah, right. Yeah. Um, I, I wonder if Ronnie actually means that. Means what? Do he loves Rangers you? Are, Rangers are shit. Oh, <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> do, do we have any any question? What Ronnie's just stolen the show here? Oh, but yeah, actually, okay, no. So, Ronnie thanked me for holding the podcast up when actually, yeah, he did. He didn't didn't thank me at all. He, it's I reckon, fine. and I don't reckon he thanked you because he's he's worried. He's worried I'm taking his job. Yeah, I'm not taking his job. Okay, we so we, we do have one one question. Oh, sweet. Um, I, actually, you know how I knew it was Ronnie too. There's never any questions for me. So yeah, felt bad. Yeah, there's ne- yeah. No, there's questions for you. Ah, all right. I'll just answer them. Um, I'm not sure if we've done this one or not. Cam McVee, um, just a quick question regarding the new Prado versus 300 on the waiting list for a GX Prado. Going to kit it out. Um, don't need the seven seats, so went base. I think we've done this one, haven't we? Um, Keep going. We're just talking about upgrading between a 300 GXL or the new Prado. Yeah, we've yes, done, we've yeah, done we this have one. Done that, Sorry, yeah. Cam. Double reading it. We have yeah, that's it. Sorry. Oh, yeah, that's that's, that's all. Fine. A lot of the questions are in for Ronnie, and I want to take his thunder. Exactly my point. Do you have a question, Indy? And he's like, when yeah, is a lunch? <laughs> <laughs> I want to get going. Nah. All right, cool. Well, let's, let's just wrap, wrap it up there. Yeah, wrap Cheers, up. guys. Thanks for listening. Yeah, appreciate it. Listened. Um, That'll be the forward. Oh, do you want to do it? Nah, I've done it twice now. Trifecta. Trifecta. All right. That is the 4 Drive Podcast. Music by the Southern River Band. Let it ride. Socials, the 4 Drive Podcast on Instagram. Send us a message. YouTube, all episodes on Backchat. Patreon, thank you for your support. Appreciate it. Stick around. Merchant voice messages, batchatstudios.com.au forward slash pages slash the full drive podcast. That's the one. See you, mate. Ciao.